changing of the PS2 and this time we have the 7000 model again uh, if you don't know if you look right here you will know the model number CHCPH 7000 so on so last time we did 9000 or yesterday I did a 9000 model today we're gonna be taking a look at this and now without making anything too long We'll just go ahead and turn it around like we did yesterday. It's pretty much the same process. This one has a something of warranty sticker. It's from some repair shop sticker, but it's already open because I cleaned it once when I first got it. Yeah, because this is the main console I play on, and the uh, excuse me, the 9000 is only staying for now. So, without further ado, like I said, we're gonna take the part that they need. Which will be again a Philips screwdriver, flathead, small one, and small Philips. So we're gonna switch to the flathead, small flathead, and again open up these three and these three plastic bits and proper bits. So we go one, two, three, we get those. Rubber parts and the one in the middle where the largest sticker is, place boom, just like that. We have these, these, and these two. And now we can put our normal tip and we can screw this six screws. a little easier than on the 9000 console for me because I cleaned this one before so the sounds are hard to unscrew and someone else did as well actually not, not just me so okay six screws are unscrewed we will turn over the console and slightly raise the back like we did before but yeah make a split in the middle go to this side get over with this there we go and then just slide it out like that this one is not so dirty in the inside like the other one because like i said i cleaned this one already and already from the interior as you can see it's a little different so this part well, First off, it doesn't have a screw for some reason. I don't know why I put it like that. That's the first thing. The second thing, it's, it doesn't have the adapter on the inside. It's the outside power supply. Excuse me, not adapter, power supply. So, those are the differences, main differences. Now, if you wanted to take the board apart and away from the plastic bit, we have a screw right here in the middle. In the case, it has the way this slit is. There's a screw, and there will be a bunch of them around around this board. Mostly, if I just screw this, take it to the side, and it should just already almost go off. Let me just check. Yeah. This only one screw is going to be holding the bottom of the board in place. So this one screw is right here in the middle between the memory stick and control ports. So, and as you can see, yeah, the interior is pretty much completely different, covered in this plating. Um, I don't see any dust actually or anything that very dirty. The only thing I'm concerned about right here or what I'm aiming at is the cooler, the TV cooler. So uh, I will open up and screw these three screws. See there's a one here. So I'll show close up. You can see we put ourselves one here, one here, and here. And we're gonna unscrew these and see if uh, this is good. Even a small Phillips screwdriver, so we get something. Oh, they have a small one on, but I didn't. 
these are very small screws, you don't want to lose those, so be careful with those. of the PlayStation and what I use you can check out my other video for the 
9000 model. This is a 7000 model, like I said in the beginning. It's different, so make sure to check that video out. There we are cleaning the fully unopened PlayStation 2 that I bought. And it was pretty dirty. And we had a lot of dirt there. This one, not so dirty. And close this. There we go. Close this part. Here. Let's put that part on. And the back screw. Yeah, this one goes a little harder.